I think it is in the air. This is a wonderful morning. The air is filled with God's love and God's promise and God's assurance. I think he especially wants us to have that posture of listening and a reminder for us to be assured of his great love and not to fear. Uh, because once more, the community is in a major transition. You have seen the um, statement of the International Council. Uh, there is also a letter uh, from our brother Tony, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. But we should assure one another that we're brothers and sisters. We have one community, and we will move forward as the Lord leads. Amen, brothers and sisters. Just a couple of things, a few things. Uh, the, the statement is, is, is rather uh, straightforward, but just a few things that I'd like to emphasize. First, there is no separation nor a split between CFC and GK. We continue to work together, but we honor, we honor the distinction. We honor the, the fundamental difference, if you will, but without being judgmental about it. We do not condemn, we do not judge. We know that everything is the Lord's work, and we offer this work to Him. So there is no split, there is no separation. We continue to work as hard as we can, as passionate as you can in Gawad Kalinga. We will not abandon or leave any site. And our brothers and sisters, we embrace as one CFC family, regardless of where we are serving. Amen? Also, of course, there is a change. There is a change that is based on a recognition of how the Lord wants us to proceed in this work with the poor, in this great privilege, this gift of the Lord for CFC to really work and love the least of our brethren. There is a change, but it should not affect the solidarity of the community. There is a change, but as we have been assured in the words that are shared to us, we should not fear the change. And what I would like to say, even now, that not all the questions have clear answers. We will evolve, we will work it out. One thing is clear though, that we'd like to ask everyone to move in the right spirit, in the right spirit of loving, in the right spirit of recognizing each other's strengths, in the right spirit of respecting one another, in the right spirit of really giving our all to God, whatever ministry or service He calls us. And so, brothers and sisters, we come together today with great jubilation because we believe we, in the International Council, also face and resolve Concerns that you all know are were with us and are with us. We in the International Council would like to look at these concerns straight in the eye and ask the Lord for the right solution. We stayed 
to resolve this concern. And we thank the Lord also for all of the prayers and also for all of us having the same common spirit of moving on and moving in the right way. As I said, there will be so many other things that need to be threshed out. And we will not and we will not have the time today uh, to really talk about everything. We will proceed though in the right spirit, I pray. And we all pray. And just like what we had in the homily of our priest this morning, so appropriate once again because we are all leaders. We are all leaders and how the transition to that change will happen, will depend on us. It will depend, as the, uh, the priest said this morning, on good leadership. And good leadership, he says, is one that is seen more in our behavior rather in our words. Good leadership is being humble. Good leadership is being fearless because our strength comes from the Lord. So brothers and sisters, as we move to, a, to another transition in our community, it is a cause for rejoicing, it is a cause for great jubilation, and it is a cause for a greater resolve for us to give our utmost to the Lord who is the source of all that we are and all that we have. In this spirit, I'd like to call on our first sharer, and we welcome him heartily, our brother, Tony Miloto. Magandang umaga sa inyo, mga kapatid. Ngayong araw na ito kasi mahalaga sa akin, mahalaga sa aking pamilya, at mahalaga sa, sa mga kapatid ko sa Copos for Christ. Kasi po, In the work that we are doing for the Lord, katulad ng sinabi kanina ni Charlie, that uh, what is constant is change. But what is also constant for us that we should never forget is love. Kaya ako po ngayon, uh, today, dumating dito with uh, so much rejoicing in my heart. Today, I feel so joyful being in the community again. Worshiping in the community again. At kasama ko yung mga anak ko at mga apo ko in the community again that I love. Kasi po, when we go through a transition, a lot, there are a lot of changes in structures, in process. And along the way, since we are all men of conviction, we are very... Uh, Stubborn no, in our beliefs. And so, ang nangyari po, nagkakaroon din ng mistrust. As we transition, ang nangyari po na hindi lang we're not focused on Jesus, but we focus on the obstacles and we start to identify one other as the roadblock and as the enemy. So, ito po, pero kailangan, may proseso kasi may proseso yan. At sa pagbabago ng struktura, we always like to be comfortable with the things that we already know. So katulad yan yung handmaids. Ang handmaids, they have their own governance. Pag meron silang conference, puro handmaids yan. No? Hindi mo naman sasabihin dyan na Catholic. Hindi mo naman sasabihin na couples for Christ. Handmaids. Pag sinabi handmaids, couples yan. Pag sinabi mong gawad kalinga, couples yan. Pag sinabi mo youth for Christ, couples yan. Pero pag YFC event, puro YFC ang makikita na pangalan. No? Uh, so ako, katoliko ako. And uh, these are three things that are very uh, fundamental sa buhay ko. I am a Catholic, I am Filipino, and I am couples for Christ. <laughs> At that is something na, that uh, is a gift, is a privilege that we need to pass on to our children. Along the way, there will be a lot of transition. And so ito po ang gawain sa couples that has been a cause of, of uh, difficulty for me is the perception.